What are you doing? What? I just finished eating my snack. Well, I just finished washing the dishes. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can wash that. It's just a bowl. Yeah, with your cheese puff powder all over it. I mean, you're gonna have to wash it anyways, so... See, that wasn't so bad. Hi, my name is Joseph Kuchipin and my scenario is animation. That's right, the skit you just saw is an animation. Animations follow 12 basic principles. Let's start with the first one, squash and stretch. Squash and stretch is where, you guessed it, animated objects get longer or flatter to emphasize their speed, momentum, weight, and mass. The more squash and stretch, the softer the object. The less squash and stretch, the stiffer the object. The next principle is anticipation. This is where characters prepare for an action to give the audience a clue for what's next. Now we have staging. This is where any idea is presented to be completely and un unmistakably clear. Basically, it's saying to focus here, now there, and lastly here. So they're not competing for presence. Next, we have stray ahead and pose to pose. These are two ways to animate drawings. Stray ahead is where you guessed it, you go straight ahead going forward from frame to frame. Pose to pose is where you draw the beginning and end of each pose and then draw in between them. Stray ahead is good for fire, explosions, etc. Pose to pose is good for most actions because it gives more control. The fifth principle is follow through and overlapping action. This is where body parts and appendages drag behind the rest of the body and move when the body stops. Follow through is the way that the parts of the body continue to move after the body stops, while overlapping action is the offset between the timing of the main body and its other parts. We now have slow in and slow out. This is the way movement starts slowly, building up speed, and then finishes slowly. This makes it more realistic. Without slow in and slow out, your animation looks mechanical, like how robots have a constant speed. The seventh principle is arcs. Few organisms have a precise mechanical up and down movement. Instead, they move in a circular path called an arc. The eighth principle is secondary action. These are gestures that support the main action to add more dimension to the character's animation. The next principle is timing. The dictionary definition is the personality and nature of an animation and how it's greatly affected by the number of frames inserted between each main action. In other words, the more drawings that are close together between the poses, the slower the action, while very few far apart drawings cause the action to be fast. Now we have exaggeration. This is where all actions, poses, and expressions can be taken to the next level to further the impact on the viewer. So, if something's happy, make it happier. If something's sad, make it sadder, and etc. It doesn't mean more distorted, but more convincing. The next principle is solid drawing. This is where you make sure that forms feel like they're in a 3D space with volume, weight, and balance. The last principle is appeal. This is where animated characters should be somewhat pleasing to look at. They need some charismatic aspect to like about them. This applies to all characters. This doesn't mean good looking, but interesting. And those are all the principles of animation. Before I end this, I accept questions about anything or good or bad feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This has been Joseph. Peace.